Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on Unturned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, last episode, what you've done is we have gone and we have simply, well, did more farming, did more shooting, that's literally all there is to say. We completed farmer... No, we didn't complete any quests, actually. We, we did more progress in Farmer Free Enhancement Free, but we didn't actually complete those two quests. So today, we're going to head back into Elver, and we are going to complete Farmer Free and Huntsman Free. We're going to complete those two quests, because we're very close to getting them done. We were f focusing fully on those two quests last episode. We got a lot of progress on them done, so today, we can complete those two quests. We're out of the bat, first things first. What we're going to do, though... Is we're gonna actually do some work on farmer free because as you know, I don't know why, but for some reason when I'm not playing the game, the fruits and farms and you know not farms, but simply what I plant grows off camera. I don't know why, it just does like as you can see all these are now grown. All these dragon fruit here are now fully grown. Which is strange because when I planted them at the end of the last episode, they're only at twenty five percent. And after I finish up recording, I quit the game literally right after, and I haven't played the game since today. I've only launched the game up literally right now, a minute and 30 seconds ago. So, yeah, I don't know, but I think these just simply grow while I'm not playing. And now we have these eight dragon fruit all beautifully grown. It's not sound of those, but yeah, eight dragon fruit all grown. As you know, one dragon fruit little thing gives me two dragon fruit. So all these eight I can harvest into 16 dragon fruit. Then you can turn those 16 dragon fruit into dragon fruit seeds. And you can plant those 16 seeds. And then during the course of this episode, the 16 seeds will grow into 32 dragon fruit, which is the required amount. Because I need, as you know, 30 to complete farmer free. And we're going to get 32 after we replant all the ones that are currently in front of me. So we're going to be able to complete farmer free today. Because, well, we already have these, we already have 16, pretty much. What we're going to do is just simply plant these 16, and wait for these 16 to grow. And once they grow, we're going to have the required amount, and two spare, which is quite good. And for Huntsman Free, as you can see, we have 525 zombie kills out of this required 750. So I still need 225 more kills. So today, we're going to get 225 zombie kills, and we're going to complete Huntsman Free. And we're also going to grow ourselves 42 Dragon Free, and we're going to complete Farmer free, and with that we're gonna have farmer free, husband free, and the worthy quest fully completed, allowing us to the next episode worry about Big J. Later in the next episode, for now, let's go and simply deal with today's episode. Let's deal with these dragon fruit, and then let's take ourselves to the ghost valley and deal with husband free. So first of all, I can harvest these, but I need eight space in my inventory to you know carry all these, and I only have one, two, three, four, five. It's a bit bad. Actually, I need 16 spaces, because I can turn those all into seeds. So we can most likely quickly firstly drop you, and you, and you, because you're quite big items. Now I should be able to pick all these up. Boom, 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 boom. And as you can see, I have beautiful 16 dragon food, only one spare inventory space. And as you can see, we have 16 and required 30. So we're halfway. But now I gotta turn these 16 back into seeds to let them grow into 30 true actual dragon fruit, which is guess, quite good. So, yeah, we have these, which is quite beautiful. Now let's go and let's plant those. And let's simply, well, first let's turn those back into seeds. So, yeah, where do we do that? We do that right here. There we are. All 16 beautiful dragon fruit back into seeds. And this only take around 20 minutes to grow. So these should be done by the end of this episode, allowing us to complete farmer free by the end of this episode. So, yeah, off they all go. Beautiful. Boom, they're all now back into seeds. Now, it's time to plant these seeds, let them grow, and complete farmer free. So, yeah, let's plant all 16 seeds. Actually, hold on a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, because, yeah, you get double. When you pick up one plant, you get two dragon fruit, but then one dragon fruit is one seed. So, yeah. Anyway, let's not go and plant these 16 seeds. Try to go and plant these as best as you can. We do have two actual planter boxes. This one and that one. So you can smack some over there if you need to. But I want to go and fit as many as I can on here. Because, yeah. Smack you over there. Smack you over there. Smack you over here. And smack you over there. Then you. And then you. I was able to just barely squish eight onto here. But I'm, I doubt I'm going to fit 16. So, I squish on eight. But 16 is just ain't going to happen. So we're going to have to go and smack some onto the other one. Right. 
Hold on. Uh, yeah, beautiful. We are still... How many left? Still quite a few. So now go and plant the rest onto here. Shall we? Yeah. Boom. 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 And... Boom. And how do we still... Boom. More. And still you. There, area. Yeah. Now they're all planted. And the rest you can start off at like... These are at 21. These are already at 42%. Which is quite strange. But yeah. They're all planted. All my beautiful dragon fruit. All 16 are now growing. And they're going to become 32 once I harvest them all. So that's beautiful. Now let's pick up all of our items. And let's take ourselves to the valley and complete Huntsman Free. We're going to get this quest done first. That is, it just requires us to do some killing. But it just requires us to do some harvesting and farming and all that stuff. So you can complete Huntsman Free first. And then we can deal Farmer Free. So, yeah. We've got what we needed here. There's nothing else that I can do now. Now what I'm going to do is i got to wait. So they're all at 42%. No, really. So, yeah. All I'm going to do now is just wait. I have one last thing left to do. And that's to wait. So whilst waiting, we can do some more zombie killings. Let's take ourselves over to the Ghost Valley and it's complete Huntsman Free. This quest has really taken a long while to do. I've been you know, working on this quest for like, what, four episodes now? But today, finally, we will get it completed because 750 kills is a lot of kills. But today, finally, Huntsman Free will be completed. Because god damn, it's taken a while. But they will get it done, so let's just, yeah, give ourselves 1194, aka the Horde Beacon. Let's smack it down, and I guess, yeah, let's begin the next Horde. My Dragon Food are growing, so there's nothing else I can do with them. We can just let them grow, and whilst they're growing, we can do this. So I need to make some space in my inventory for this. It takes up four inventory space, I can just move you down here. Boom. Now let's smack you down here, and I guess, yeah. Let's commence the first of the two hordes. We're gonna do two because one horde gives you 100 kills. I need 225. So you can get 200 kills from two hordes, then additional 25 kills from wherever. So, smack this down and let's actually, first of all, let's get ourselves like a few kills. You can get ourselves to 550 and then you can smack down those two horde beacons down. So, yeah. First, you get some easy kills. Because I could kill these guys during a horde, but it only will be a hundred to kill during a horde, then a horde will end. But if I kill 25 now, and then summon the horde, there will still be a hundred to kill during a horde itself. It's just that the game will respawn the ones that I kill. So let's get ourselves now to 550, then let's summon the horde, and get ourselves to 650, then summon it again to 750. Just so it's, you know, more convenient, more perfect. Like this. So let's just go, and let's... Huh. Let's just go, and let's, yeah, we'll kill ourselves 25 zombies. Get us to 550, and then we can go and we can summon the horde. Simple as that. You as well. Now, where is the rest of these cretins? That's the edge of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's the north end of the valley. We don't want to go over there. But what we do want to do is we're going to go down here. We're going to smack you over the head as well. There we are. Now, we don't want to clear out the entire valley, but I mean, I guess I might as well. Because these will all respawn once they smack down the horde beacons. It doesn't really matter. Might as well just kill them all. Now, how many Nikorov? We still have 29 bullets in here, plus an additional four bags or boxes, so we should be fine ammunition-wise. We can kill you, we can run over to here, and smack you over the head. Beautiful. The guy went flying. We're now at 549. 39, I mean, so we still need an additional, now, 10 more kills. Now, 9 more. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. And, mm -hmm. Beautiful. Eight more. Seven. Oh, you survived that. No, hold on. Come on. There. Seven. Six. Five. Uh, you're still alive. And four. Beautiful. Four more kills, and we're there. We can summon the next horde. Four. Three. And. Uh, two. Beautiful. And a one. And well, would you look at that? We're now at 550. Perfect. We only require exactly 200 more kills. So smack down the beacon. Could be the first horde. Then could be the second horde. And Huntsman Free will be done. So, we got ourselves what we, we, got, we got ourselves those 25 kills that are needed. Now, with 550, we can get ourselves to 750. Well, firstly, it's going to be 650. Then it's going to be 700, yeah. Anyway, let's just, yeah, begin the first horde. Here we go. It has begun. Let's get to it. Let's not die. Let's not run out of the area. Let's just not mess up. 
Let's just get these 100 zombie kills. Okay, this is where it really gets bad. Because you can see the purple guys really surround you and just screw you over. So, yeah. I hate the purple guys because they're just ominous society. We're going to kill as many blue guys as we can because the blue guys are in fact the biggest danger. Oh, God, I'm on 10% health. Okay. Mm -hmm. No to self. Don't do that because that's just going to get me killed. Yeah, it isn't, you don't want to get too close to the fort. The closer you get, the more damage it'll deal to you, the worse it'll be. So don't get too close, don't get surrounded, just don't die. I say that as I proceed to get myself completely screwed over. Okay. We have still, yes, I said 29 bullets in my current Nikar box, plus a bit more when we reload. So we'll be able to, yeah, use as many bullets as we need for this. You know, you smack you over the head, smack you over the head, smack you over the head, and you, beautiful. Big man, what's his name? And the mega zombies, so rain right should spawn quite soon. But it's probably a few more zombies to kill. Because now we killed 25 exactly, because we're 575. So we already killed 25, so we're one third of the way there. Well, one fourth of the way. We're 25% of the way there. Which is, to be honest, is quite good already. Not a guy over here that can be murder. There we are. Let's not murder you, okay. Or get murdered by you, whichever one works. Kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. Okay, yep, we're gonna come out of nowhere. Of course, classic. Head back to uh, maybe the center of the valley. Kill you. There we are. The game is still spawning in more normal zombies, so we just need to kill a lot more. We are now nearly at 600, actually, so we're nearly halfway there. Hold on a minute. A few more and we'll be halfway. And we are now 600. Hey. 150 kills remain till we have completed this quest. You can get 50 extra kills from this horde, and then another 100 from the next horde, and we'll be done. Beautiful. Now closer than ever to get in this dungeon, which is quite great. Okay, maybe I should start opening fire at these fools, should I? Yeah, I think I should. I think now would be a good time. And now they're all far away and spaced out. I can start taking shots at those guys, though. Die, blue spitter fools. And I'm out of ammunition. I killed, like, a good good 20. Oh, that's Rain, right? He's here, all right. All right, then. Mm -hmm. We have less than 50 kills remaining, but the mega zombie is now here. Making our job significantly harder. So that's gonna be quite great. Yeah. Mm. That's the edge of the map right there. So pretty don't wanna go there. That's a rock that we're gonna get stuck on there. Okay, kill you, kill you, kill you. But even if a weapon that one shots these guys is still so painful. If my, you know, melee weapon wouldn't one shot these guys, it'd be so bad. But luckily it one shots them all with a headshot, so that's fine. A body shot isn't a one shot, but a headshot is, so yeah. And it's just the purple guys left now and one spitter. And then crawlers and obviously the mega zombies, so should be done soon. Should be done soon enough. Kill you, avoid that, kill you. Hold on. It's hard to hit these purple guys because the way they you know walk. There it is, there's the crawlers left, and yeah, just the crawlers and the mega zombie now, then we'll be done. There's so many crawlers, oh my god. I wanna kill these guys first, because the crawlers have the most health, actually, and they're the most annoying. So I just wanna get them killed first. We only need like 15, yeah, 15 more kills and we're there. 15 kills, and you know, we have the first horde down, we're only gonna have the second one to go. Perfect. Hit you, hit you, hit you. I really need to start shooting, but I'm out of ammunition, my current gun, and I don't think I'm really in the position to reload right now, so... I mean, I can probably reload, but... Ah, I'm already done now. Hit you, hit you, hit you, and... Hold on. Hold on, we're at 648. Two more kills and this horde is done. There we are. One zombie left. And the first horde's down, and the last zombie obviously is Rainwright himself. So he kill this guy, and then we'll be done. We're gonna have to kill this guy twice today, this is the first time right now, so, yeah. And he's not that bad, all he does is just throw rocks, and that's literally it. Throw rocks and try to punch you, all you gotta do is just simply punch him, and it's really as simple as that, so, yeah. Come on over here, dude. Don't have that much health, so he should be no problem to kill. Okay, I said that as I'm getting surrounded and brutally murdered. Okay, avoid the rock. Let the summoner regenerate. There we are. Because summoners are, you know, big factor. Okay, he's dead. God, I love how he dies. Because he just goes flying. I flung him from here. All the way over there. My god. Well, first horse down. The first horde is down. We're now at 650 kills. Out of 750, 100 kills remain. And Huntsman 3 is done. It's as simple as that. Now, see what he got, shall we? So... More Nekorv ammunition, perfect. A dragon Fang, no Dragon Fang ammo though. No, got an iron Nekorv itself though. Grizzly, okay, fine. So we go and reload this box. There we are. Take the empty one, put in the full one. Now we go and drop the empty one, which is right over here. And where is it? There it is. 
drop the empty Nikarov box and its place can go the full Nikor Nikarov box. There we are. We have a Dragon Fang, but we only have the ammunition inside, which is only 150 shots. Then you have this, which is only 200 shots. My inventory is so full. I already got to clean it up, but I just have so many guns in here, and god damn it. I should be, you know, using my guns a lot more just to clear up the inventory. But you're gonna, you know, primarily just use guns in this next horde just to speed this up and just to, you know, clear up my inventory. We can leave the rest of these items here on the floor. I can pick those up later. For now, let's go check on our dragon fruit and then we can deal with the next horde. Alright then, let's go and see what the situation here is like. Also, let's maybe eat and drink some food because, yeah, why not? Now, this should be at around halfway done. I don't think they will be done yet, so it should be around halfway, right? And, from the looks of it, they are about, yeah, 80, 65, 65, 75, 85. Yeah, actually, they're, they're, none of them are 65, they're all 85 to 75. Because there was a 10% uh, behind. That's fine, then, they're very close to being done, but they're not done yet. So, you still gotta go and just wait a little while longer. And whilst waiting, we can complete another horde and we can complete Huntsman free. Perfect. Firstly, I gotta drink something. And I think I have no more water. That's a bit bad. We can just simply drink you then. You'll do fine. Now, let's teleport ourselves over back to the Ghost Valley. And let's now go and, yeah, do this again. A hundred more kills and Huntsman Free will be done. As you can see, the Dragon Fruit are almost done. So after you complete this horde, then the Dragon Fruit will be done. And be able to hand it Huntsman Free and Farmer Free simultaneously. So let's go and let's get to work. Let's give ourselves 1194. And yeah, let's begin the next horde of today, and maybe the final horde we're ever going to do on this map, because you probably won't need to do any more. But maybe we might need to do more, God knows. For now, let's smack down this beacon, and let's complete Huntsman 3. We have time? Yeah, we have time. Let's go. Let's do this. How about a boom? It begins again. So, let's start off by not dying. And then we can get to killing, because I think not dying is probably the first step. Kill you, because you're annoying. There we are. And let's get to work. Now, they're going to surround me very soon, because they're literally everywhere already. So let's get as many of them killed as we can before I get completely destroyed and murdered. Kill you. There we are. Uh-huh. Kill you. We're going to use our gun mostly in this one, but firstly I want to... Oh, wait. Ah. We're going to mostly use our gun, but firstly I want to get... I want to get them in more of a horde, in more of a huddle, so my bullets will be more effective and they won't miss as many times. As they would if they're all separate, so yeah. If that's good enough of a horde, let's get to shooting. And huzzah! Oh, that's powerful, that is. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm gonna shoot the purple guys, because the purple guys are really annoying. There we are. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. I can make short work of this with this massive machine gun. Keep on firing, keep on shooting. Perfect. I don't know what the hell I hit there, but that's fine. Oh, this is getting done real fast. We already are. We are pretty much are at 700 kills already. Hold on. Get three more kills of the staff so we can get that a bit better. And though, would you look at that? 700 zombie kills. You only have 50 more kills. 50 more kills and this horde is complete. God damn. Rain Ride will be here very soon, so we got to get ourselves ready for that. But yeah. Right, beautiful. We're at 700 kills. We're still additional... 50 minutes to go get those 50 extra kills, shall we? Gonna keep on firing. Die! Soviet zombies. You're not even Soviet, are you? No, not Soviet at all. That's fine, you'll die either way. Now, keep on firing. Oh, there he is. Rain Rider's here. That's fine, because most of the zombies are now dead. Okay, yep, he's thrown rocks at me. That's quite inconvenient, isn't it? Okay. And I'm out of ammunition. Great. Well, back we go to using the staff then. I killed literally most of the horde just with my gun. And I gotta say it is much faster. Okay, he tugged down a tree. Christ almighty. Brain right just literally destroyed a tree. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Fighting the horde with a staff is very slow. But when I whipped out the gun, we managed to complete this literally in that minute. Which is just great. Anyway. Now all these guys are gonna die. And these guys will take a while to die. Just at a very high health. But you can just simply hit them with the staff and that'll get the job done. Or alternatively, I could just simply reload and start firing with, you know, the bullets, because the bullets effectively do more damage, believe it or not. So it's just to be melt for these guys of this. Ah, die! Ah. That, believe it or not, is much more effective. Perfect. Now, literally, I just melt those fools. And now we only have a few guys left. There he is, just rain right left. Now what we're gonna do now is just finish this guy off, 
and then we'll be done. Perfect. Now, dude, it's time for you to die. So, yeah. Die. Ah. Okay, yep. Kneel down for a rock and die. Beautiful. Rainwright has been defeated. And Huntsman 3 is completed. And I only used up like 300 bullets in total for that. I still have 104 left in this. Gosh, golly god dang. That was something. But now, as you can see, Huntsman 3 is done. You have killed exactly 750 zombies. This is going to give us two runic fossils and a golden mosca. So we'll throw away the normal mosca that we have for the golden variant. Ah, perfect. What did we get? We got ourselves a timber wolf, which is a gun that I don't need. A PDW from the looks of it, which is a pretty cool gun. Fragmentation grenades. Maybe just do this so you can see a bit better. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Epic, epic, right? I mean, I could take the PDW, but I'm going to have a golden mosk, and the golden mosk is going to be much better. So, yeah. We can drop this empty magazine over here. There, yeah. We can go and we can. Oh, God. It's going to a mess. We can probably hold on. First, let's go and drop you onto the floor. There, yeah. You can pick up the other one. There it is. Into here. You go and take out. Oh, that's. I've picked up my own. For God's sake. Drop this one. Pick up this one. Take out the 200 bullets from this one. There we are. Putting us back to where we were before. Drop you onto the floor and pick up you. There we are. My inventory is still literally completely full. Great. I don't know how I'm going to carry 32 goddamn um, dragon food in this, but I mean, hey, it'll be fine. So that's you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. And I guess now we can go and we can. Um, Dragon Fang, I won't need. The grenades, I probably won't need. PDW, I won't need. I won't really need any of this. So, might as well leave all this here. And, yeah. Now, with Huntsman 3 completed, now it's time to go and check on my Dragon Fruit. Wherever you cross, just to complete Huntsman 3. When I hand it in, this will be done. So, it's going to give us a Golden Rebel. I have the normal Rebel in my tank, so you can swap that out for your Golden Variant. Nice. Now, let's take ourselves back to the gas station. Something else I need from the valley, so, yeah. Let's see how our dragon fruit are doing. Let's maybe harvest those, hand those in. We're going to have farmer free and huntsman free completed, which will be frankly quite great. Anyway, let's go. And I guess, yeah. Let's go and. What is this? Right back. Let's go and check on my dragon fruit. Ah, ah, they're all grown. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to make some space for them. So we put away some stuff into the here where we have our golden hellcat, which I don't use because I don't really need it. We can smack away the heat wave because it's quite big, takes a lot of space. You can be pretty over there. We can smack away the heat wave's ammunition for now because we won't be using it. I only have one mag for it, great. Right? We can then smack away the. Um, I guess you can put a desert falcon away for now because yet again I won't be using it for a little while. And you can smack in all the desert falcon mags that I have, which actually I have more than two, but you can smack down all the ones away. There we are, seven hour, you know, magazine, that's fine. We go and I can move you up to here. There we are, just to make you a bit more organized. There we are, beautiful. Now I can quickly go and move you over to here. And then I guess move you over to here. And move this donut into here. And this donut into here. And you across here. And that's even more beautiful. And now we can harvest these dragon fruit. There's only 16 right here planted. But if you want them, it gives me two dragon fruits. So we're going to have in total. 32 beautiful dragon food which is going to help us complete farmer free so you can see now we have zero on us because we have none you know actually harvested but once i harvest these we're going to have enough with two spurs so i guess yeah let's go we completed one quest today i mean one very hard quest now let's go and complete a second very hard quest i mean it wasn't that hard but whatever let's harvest all these beautiful dragon fruit oh we're already at 20 still 10 more well 12 more we can get from here Boom, 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 boom. And I don't have enough space for that, god damn it. Boom! Beautiful, they're all rolling away. Oh god, no, no. Okay, pick up, drop you for a minute. I'll pick up the dragon fruit, pick up the rolling away dragon fruit. Ah, no, no. This is not part of the plan, believe it or not. There, we have enough. We've still two spur here. Okay, I'm, I did not have enough space for those. Oh. Um, do I have more room in here? Yes, I do. For a minute, just smack you into here. And then pick up you. And I can also go and pick up you. I'm missing space. Oh, that's bad. Then I need to go and... Hold on a minute. I gotta... Ah, uh, okay. Drop 
Hold on. Smack just you into here. Hold on. Smack you into here for a minute. And then I can go and pick up you. Just so you're not on the floor and on these pawns. Perfect. So we got it. Now as you can see, farmer freeze. Only have 32 out of the 30 required dragon fruit. I'm actually going to go and turn two of those back into seeds just to simply keep those growing. One, two. As you let those two grow over here. Perfect. Just so we can always have more. Now we have 39 inventory. Perfect. Now, let's so go and hand these in, shall we? I think we should be able to do that. We can also go and, you know, grab you back again and smack you over here. Perfect. Now, let's go claim our rewards because now Huntsman Free and Farmer Free are now done and Worthy is also pretty much done because all you gotta do is just hand it Huntsman Free that'll be done. So, Huntsman Free, Farmer Free, and Worthy are now all done. Let's now go hand those in and I guess see what he got. Yeah. Perfect. Maybe she's a mess we can clean that later. For now, let's get ourselves up to the island. Use a teleporter, and I guess, yeah, we go. Three, two, one, zero, and we go. Here we go. Welcome. Yes, welcome me. Ugh, oh, good to be back. Now, my man, Rainwright, I'm going to speak with you first. Hello, Matt. So, here it is. Huntsman Park free. Yeah, let's get it done. Huntsman free, kill 700 zombies within a 75 meter radius of yourself. Well, I think I've done that. I think they're going to get the golden mosque. Oh, frankly, it's quite beautiful. Do that. Perfect. Huntsman free, complete it. And now we can hand in Worthy, but I'm, I'm not going to do that yet, because now we have all of our items in the floor. But yeah, as you can see, Worthy's now done, because you have completed every single one of Rainwright's quests. Ah, beautiful. Anyway, now, inventory. First of all, my inventory is actually all filled with dragon fruit. Like, it's filled to the brim with dragon fruit. Oh, that's bad. Hold on. Can I quickly drop you just temporarily into here? You're not going to roll away, are you? You're rolling away. Oh, that's bad. Can you not do that? Where can I put you that you won't roll away? That's rain, right? Can I just smack you? I just want you to be just anywhere, because I'm going to smack you over to here. You're not going to roll away. Are you rolling away? Okay, where can I smack you so you won't roll away? Can I smack you into here? Hi, boys. I want to smack you maybe right here. You're not going to roll away now, are you? No, perfect. Now, we can get ourselves over through to here. There we are. Go and grab you. I can take ourselves back down to the gas station. This is the fastest way to get there. By some teleporting right over there. Perfect. And I can run to here. There we are. So I want to do some, you know, inventory maintenance. Run over here. There we are. Run ourselves down here. And now we can go and we can... Yeah, smack you over to here. And smack you over to here. I can go and smack you in there. We need five of these runic fossils to make a ruby tablet, but only have four, so we need one more. But we might get another one later, but for now, that's that. Now, I gotta quickly go and, hold on, take away the gun from you, so we can quickly smack you, not a gun, smack the ammunition. Take you down here, there we are, and take out the mag that's in here. Hold on a minute, I'm getting flipping emails from God knows what. Oh, I don't care. Anyway, now we're going to take the mag out, there we are. And you can drop you on the floor because I'm never going to need you. Actually, I'm going to need the scope that's in you. We can go and smack you over to here. And I can go and I can pick up you again. And I can take ourselves back up to the island. Teleport. Actually, we need to teleport anyway. Because we simply walk there through here, don't we? Yes, we do. Hold on a minute. I'll creep. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so now. Let's go. And yeah, this inventory is such a mess. Now, up we go. Here we are. It didn't actually open on time with the sound, but that's fine. Now we can quickly get ourselves over here. There's the golden mosca, still here. I can go and quickly drop the standard one for the golden one. We can't scope in with this, can we? Because you cannot scope in with golden weapons for some reason. Can you? Yeah, you can't. That's fine, though. The golden mosca looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know why you can't zoom in, but I mean, hey, that's fine. It looks beautiful. I love it. Perfect. Now, we can go and we can equip you again. The Nidkarvi and the normal Mosca. Thank you for your services, but you are no longer required because now we have the golden variant. Also, I could got to go and just drop literally just anything. Can I eat something? Yes, I can quickly eat this donut. There we are. I can eat this donut. And in this donut's place will go the dragon fruit that I dropped on the floor. There it is. Beautiful. And I can go and hand this, all these dragon fruits in. Because, actually, should we hand in Rainwright's quest? What do we get for Worthy? 
we get the golden rebel and two running fossils. We're gonna we're gonna hand this in first so I can put away all these stupid dragon food. I wanna get those out of my way. I wanna just get these dragon food out of my end bushes. Go and get those done first. Complete farmer part three. Plant and grow the dragon fruit. Now have all 30. We're gonna get ourselves 150 experience, the amethyst cut, and the ability to purchase another amethyst cut. Thank you. Farmer free completed. Also, um, disappeared out of nowhere. Rescue him. Oh, but, but rescue who? Okay, so now, now there is a teleporter standing here saying rescue him. That was not there a second ago. So I knew that after we, um, I knew that after we completed all of Matt's quests, then a teleporter would appear. And here's a teleporter, but now what? Do I go into it? Do I go through it? I don't want to press F because there's a few things left to do here. So yeah, but the teleporter is here and it says rescue him. We can play around with this in the next episode. For now, my inventory is finally empty. Let's quickly go and in that case, let's um, speak of Rainwright, shall we? We can now go and complete Worthy. Complete all of Rainwright's quests. And we have all of Matt's quests done and all of Rainwright's quests done. And Jim has infinite quests, so we never can complete all of his, so that's fine. But now, Worthy is also done. We got all three Huntsman quests, all three Summer quests, Collector and Servant. And now, they're all done. Worthy completed. Thank you, Rainwright. Oh, yeah. You have completed all of the quests. Good job. Thank you. Alright, and now what can I buy from you? Excuse me, that's what he says now. We can just buy it. The Mosca, the Rebel, and the Heatwave. The Golden variants. They're all 7,000. Actually, no, the price are different. Cool, 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 cool. And now there it is. Golden Rebel. God, it's beautiful, but I don't have room for it. Of course I don't. Actually, do I have room? Yes, I do. I guess we just move you to down here. And in your place, I can go and put in the Golden Rebel. I'm not going to keep the Rebel in the inventory. I'm going to put it into our tank. But, yeah. That's that. And there it is. The Amethyst Cot. Alright, let's quickly go and equip you. Uh, you look quite cool, don't you? Yeah. Oh, there's also a sniper rifle. Because he's a sniper rifle ammunition. That's interesting. Yet again, kind of zoom in a bit for some reason. But, yeah. That's interesting. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's now go put all this stuff away, shall we? Yeah. So, now I guess we're going to go through that. But it'll be later. For now, let's head back to where we need to be. Because now I have yeah, zero quests. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's now head ourselves back to the gas station. Let's sort out our inventory, then let's finish off. And in the next episode, we'll have a fully sorted out inventory. We'll go and we'll deal with Big J. We'll simply, hopefully, rescue him. Because now, we have all of Matt's quests done. And all of Rainwright's quests done. So now we're ready to rescue Big J. And you can do that in the next episode. For now, let's sort out our inventory, let's finish off. Grab this bold energy. And let's see. So, these dragon fruits I can just simply grow, I don't really care. This, okay, we can take away... Hold on, take away, take out, I mean. We can first of all, actually, um, smack, because I have one, two, three, four. Yes, we can take out, take out three of these. There we go, one, 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 two, three. So now we have five on in inventory of one spare. There we go. Smack all of you over to here. There we are. Now can quickly go on first of all, turn those five into the ruby tablet. There it is. And now can you go and put the ruby tablet into here. That's simply the same amount of money, still worth the exact same thing, just takes up only one space rather than five. It's perfect. Now we have two ruby tablets. These are all worth, yeah, so we have 5,000, that's 10,000, 11,000, we have 11,500 NAS. That's a lot of money. Perfect. Now, I can smack you up to here, first of all. Then I can put you back into my inventory. We're going to use you with the Mosca. I can now go and I can... You know what? I want to have the Mosca equipped because we have a lot of Mosca ammunition. So I want to go and get that, you know, sort of that. So simply swap you two out. There we are. That's the golden Mosca that I equipped because it looks beautiful. It's going to have you there. There we are. And so that's sorted out then. Nothing that I want from that chest. Now this chest, though. Yeah, hmm. Let's firstly go and let's, um, actually, to me, if I use the Nakarov first, it'll be better, because the Nakarov has, um, the Nakarov has bigger ammunition that takes up more space. I think I'm going to use that first, in that case. Alright, then. We can smack the cut into here, but then I'm going to have to take away the, take out the heat wave. Okay. So now go to the dorms and put away our stuff over there. There we are. Hold on a minute. Because the inventory starting out is going to take a while. There's a tank right there. There we are. have to wait for the game loading. 
So now, Mr. Tank, hello there. You have in yourself the, um, where is it? You have the normal rebel, but now we have the golden version. But the golden version is obviously just much better, because, yeah, it's golden. Let's actually take out this one as well, just because I want to test it out. We also have the golden panda killer in here. We have so many items. Now, can I equip you? I can still grab you, okay. Let's drop you on the floor for a minute. There we are. Get the golden, let's get the normal rebel now. This is the normal rebel, basically a nice little sniper rifle, pretty cool. Zoom in on zombies, can shoot them. But the golden variant is this one right here. This is golden, can we scope in? Okay, we can't scope in with this one, because you can't scope with any other golden weapons. You can scope in, and you can shoot people, that's frankly quite beautiful. Golden, six times scope. Yeah. Nice, nice, this is nice. Now, we can firstly um, we can smack you back into the tank now. There we are. Smack the golden one. Oh, because we don't need, you know, the normal ones. You can smack the golden one in. And firstly, pick you up again. So we can take take out the magazine from you that we don't need. There we are. Perfect. Drip on the floor. I can also go and put away the free sniper rifle mics that I have on me. Because I don't need those on me. Because I don't have a sniper rifle on me. So I can smack you free into here. One. Two. And three. Perfect, that's also pretty much full. And we smack up, we can pick up the Nikor again. Now we have this room in here for that. Now we can also, the Amethyst card we can put away into the other one. Okay, let's now go back to the gas station. There we are. Because that's where we gotta do, where we gotta be. Got ourselves now through here. This inventory t sorting will take a while, but I mean, we just gotta do it. I do also wanna show you where I put all my items, so yeah. Now, uh, over here, we can take out the golden heat wave now because now I can simply have it on me again. So you can smack you right there, taking up too much space. We can smack the amethyst cut in the heat wave space in the chest. We can also take out take out the heat wave's mag again because we'll be using that and needing that. And actually smack you over to here because I can simply go and quickly move you down there, move you across here, and move you up here. There we are. Inventory management. And now I can also go and take out this guy and smack you over here with you. And actually, you know what? Change of plans. We're going to quickly smack you two down here. There we are. Smack the staff across here and equip the this, you know, Desert Falcon so I can use it up and just simply, you know, not ever taking up any space in here. Smack its three mags down here for convenience purposes. Perfect. Well, we have our loadout. We have a Desert Falcon. We have a Nikarov. So we're ready to take on whatever comes next. What comes next? That's a good question. And the answer to that question is on the island. We're going to go through the teleporter. I don't know if there's a teleporter that we got to use. Because it doesn't say that we can use a teleporter, but I mean... Hey, let's just figure it out in the next one, I guess. The next episode, I mean. But generally, now, there's a teleporter. Oh! Now there's this, which wasn't here before. Hello. Okay, um... So this guy's here. The ghost thing. So we have a teleporter over here, which says rescue him. And we also have a ghost right here, which you can speak to. Okay, um... Yeah, his particles just come out from the floor. So this guy's just here now. Uh, that's pretty spoopy, isn't it? Um, we can talk of this floating green ghost in the next episode. But generally now, there's a ghost right here. So you're gonna speak of the ghost, find what he has to say, and I guess head through the portal and rescue... Big J. Maybe the next episode. Because for now, ladies and gentlemen, we have run out of time. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as I said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where in the next episode, we'll go and we'll, well, we'll speak of the ghost, go through the portal, and find and rescue Big J. Let me the next one. For now, thank you for watching. And as I said, I was saying again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Where next episode, we'll be speaking of ghosts. I'll see you there and then. Goodbye!